If you've been following my videos so far, you're probably into cafe races uh, like myself. And this one behind me is a CB750 Honda and it's my first version of building a cafe racer, but it's not going to be my last. In fact, I've already purchased um, another bike. So if a CB750 isn't something that you're interested in, stay tuned because the next bike could be yours. In fact, I've already purchased my next project, which is a Honda CX500. Um, that I got just recently, like a week ago. I think one of these bikes is a boy and the other one's a girl because when I got home, there was another one. So now I've got three. What's going on? I think they had sex and had a baby. It's an old baby. But yeah, now there's three. And when it arrived, basically it wasn't running. Uh, he told me that it was running, but it just wasn't. The battery was flat. So I bought it, um, taking a chance, hoping that it was okay. And uh, what I ended up doing was taking the carburetors off, completely cleaning them, uh, rebuilding them, putting them all back together again. And I put them back to standard. Actually, I didn't do it. I got someone else to do it for me. They put it back to standard, the carburetors. And I just bolted them back on again and put the battery on, charge. And then when I put the battery in, I turned the key and within seconds, this thing started. It was incredible. This one here is uh, another bike which I picked up yesterday. Um, that was a week ago. And this one was, yeah, I got it yesterday and it has... Been sitting outside for a very long time, as you can see, um, but I didn't have a key for it. So I went up pulling the ignition barrel out, taking it down to a locksmith. And luckily enough, these things have a stamp on the side of the um, ignition barrel, which if the stamp is not like worn out, if it's readable, they can just cut you a key straight up. They don't have to pull the thing apart, which was really cool. So I did that and I took the battery from that one and put it into this one, this one, and then just turned the key and... I found out the problem with the uh, rough running of the engine. It was just the carburetors. So what I've done is I've taken the carburetors out of the black CX500 I know they're being tuned back to standard. So I took, took those out and installed them in the gear. They're exactly the same carbon by a couple of years difference. Um, and yeah, that's just solved the problem. It's running so smooth now. I'm really happy. So there's nothing really internal in the engine that I need to worry about. Obviously it probably needs a bit of a tune um, more so than what it is right now. So I'm going to leave this bike as is for now. Um, I'm just going to pretty much put those carburetors back on the black bike and um, start working back on the seat. Might uh, make a fiberglass base for it and um, leave that, leave those two alone for the moment. Now that I know they're fully running, and it's just a matter of um, cleaning the carburetors off and tuning them for this one. 